All aboard the Elvis train. It is words. Smile, an everlasting smile. A smile could bring you near to me. Don't Wait. ever let me find you gone. Because <laughs> that could bring I'm... a tear. Wait, to okay, me. okay. Um, who sung this? Was it Bee Gees? I want to say Bee Gees sung this. Am I right? It it seems awfully familiar. I know the, I know the song. I a hundred percent know the song, but I I've never heard Elvis sing it. Uh, can I roll it back? Sorry, I I, I was kind of taken out of myself for a minute. Smile. An everlasting smile, oh, a smile could bring you near to me. Oh, I love that. Don't ever let me find you gone, because that could bring a tear to, to me. Oh, that's brave. Oh. This world has lost its glory. Oh, yeah. Let's start a brand new story now, my love. That is beautiful. Right now. Time, and I can show you all my love. Talk, Talk and everlasting words, <laughs> and dedicate them all to me. Wow! And I will give you all my life. I'm here if you should go. This is even singing this to perfection. Fair play, Elvis. I I didn't expect him to sing this. Wait, so who who was the original singers of this? Because this came out in 1969. Now I do know that the Bee Gees were going in <coughs> 60s, 70s, right? Um it differently you know I, he adds his own spin to it and that's what i love about about these these elvis covers right he adds his own kind of way of singing into it which which uh, uh, you know it makes it different it's the same song you know the words right know all the lyrics but he just adds something special. It's, he adds that Elvis magic into the fray. To take your heart away. Play it, James. <laughs> Play it, James. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, that's brave, man. It's so brave. Shred my face off, James. Such a lower register than than like if it really was the Bee Gees. He is such a lower register than what them guys can do. Yeah, uh, it's te like a flipping baritone. Given. It's only <laughs> so creamy. You stole my heart, Elvis. It's only you stole it, man. To do with your words, man. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. Down in Louisiana is what he said. I think that's what he said. But there was a crowd, so that was life. Uh, see, see, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes you listen to this man, and you don't realize just, just how much talent he's got. That was live. That was just probably 
off the top of his head. I was like, oh, I want to do words. You know, that's what it feels like, you know? And, and he, he just brings it home. He makes it, it makes it his own. And it just, I don't know. It, it, it sounds flipping fantastic. Brilliant cover of that song. Excellent cover. The way that he's so organic on stage as well. Now, I mean, you can't see him. That is my one criticism with these bloody ones from 1969. There is no video, but uh, I think that you can still hear how organic he, he is going around the stage and going and talking to uh, all of his backing singers and, you know, guitarists. He's very organic on stage and, and you can just, you can actually hear it. Oh, take it away, James, you know, for example. And then he comes in, face melt in shreddery. I'm not gonna compare um, both versions because I think that they're both bloody good in their own rights. Bring up the Elvis list. I think this was really good. I did enjoy it. Ooh, this is high C rank for me. This is good. This is a solid song. I think that if I had seen him perform it, I think I would have put it in B rank somewhere. But uh, because I can't see it, and that's my one criticism, I, I. I'm reluctant to put it any higher, but it is an amazing song and it is among some of my most favorite songs. A lot of my favorite songs are actually in C rank. That was a banger!